Now note this fluid level on the right side of the abdomen shown by the vertical blue arrow. It is in the liver tissue. Note the gap between the diaphragm and the air. It is away from the diaphragm, so it cannot be a subphrenic abscess. This is a fluid level in an amoebic liver abscess. Before the advent of ultrasonography, it was a standard practice to introduce some air after aspirating an amoebic liver abscess, so that on subsequent follow-up, the size of the abscess cavity is seen on plain standing x-ray of the abdomen. This is another x-ray showing a fluid level in an amoebic liver abscess. Note that its upper border does not match with the diaphragm and that it is entirely within the liver shadow. Also, it does not extend along the full width of the diaphragm. In comparison, now see this subphrenic abscess following a duodenal ulcer perforation. The blue arrow points to the diaphragm. The air and fluid is loculated between the diaphragm and the liver. Note that the upper border of the air is nothing but the diaphragm. Liver border may or may not be seen depending on the amount of air. But if there is a subphrenic abscess without air in it, air fluid level will not be seen and the only finding will be a raised hemidiaphragm. Note the raised right diaphragm in this x-ray. A definite diagnosis of subphrenic abscess is not possible on this x-ray. A subpulmonic effusion or a paralyzed hemidiaphragm will give a similar appearance of raised hemidiaphragm.